Uh, uh, Mr. Feld, I'd like to ask you two questions, if I could. One is just following up on Mr. Adelstein. It's explaining why, in addition to robust funding, we also need strong resiliency rules on the books to require better preparedness before and after the inevitable disasters strike us. Um, but also, if you would just ruminate for a second as well on municipalities and this broadband industry march to state to state to prohibit municipalities from even deploying broadband. Um, what would you recommend well, that, we, that we do uh, in both of those areas? Well, we need this to be a fully integrated and fully coordinated at every level of government. Uh, I uh, have recommended in my testimony that uh, the uh, federal uh, legislation preempt uh, these state laws and not simply uh, in the case of building out municipal networks, which are critical, uh, but also so that uh, networks can, state and uh, local government as well as the federal government can make assets available uh, in time of emergency as backup. There is often time plenty of fiber in the ground uh, to provide backhaul or plenty of spectrum that is uh, going fallow uh, that is held uh, by federal agencies or by state uh, um, and local governments, and they should be encouraged to put those to productive use, particularly in times of crisis. Are we in a paradoxical situation where many of these municipalities might have acted the, themselves, and there's a state law that the broadband companies have that prohibit them from uh, acting on their own, and now we're passing federal legislation to provide funding that the broadband companies want to use in order to go in to solve a problem that the municipalities were saying they were willing to solve in the first place. Yes, this is a, uh, it rates uh, four out of five Morissettes on the irony scale, as I like to say. Uh, 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 the uh, uh, local governments are closest to their uh, citizens. They often have uh, a much greater awareness of what the uh, particular risks are in the community. Uh, in addition, we have problems of communities that have traditionally been marginalized or uh, underfunded, such as on tribal lands or in communities of color. Uh, these communities are uniquely situated to contribute, and yet in many states, they are prohibited from doing so. This is now trying to take on a problem where we need to focus everything and saying, well, instead, why don't we put a bucket of cement on your right foot and tie your hand behind your back and now go out uh, and fix the problem. But give no, the no, money no, to honestly, the people who put the cement on your foot and tied your hand behind your back. No, you're definitely winning the metaphor contest uh, today in the Commerce Committee. Uh, but I love each one of them because they're accurate in terms of where we are. And, uh, and I guess all I would say is if you can, in 10 seconds, just say, do you believe we need strong rules on resiliency to make sure that it gets done? We absolutely need rules on resiliency. It's not going to happen on its own, and we have 10 years of evidence, 20 years of evidence now to prove it. Beautiful. Thank you.